Ow, ow, one of the pins pinned me. <laughs> Hey, I'm Vivian, and you may know me from the fashion videos on As Is, or here on Cocoa Butter, or for taking eight shots without blinking in the 90s liquor video, because that was also me. Aside from drinking, I also love fashion and upcycling. This time, I'm actually gonna help friends of mine upcycle their own clothing. I kind of stumbled into upcycling. I didn't know what it was at the time. I just loved to add sparkle and shine to everything I own. My accidental DIY hobby actually turned into something I'm really passionate about. I'm gonna help my friend Tony upcycle a piece of clothing. Tony already knows a lot about sustainable fashion and thrifting, but we're gonna take it another level. We're gonna upcycle something she already owns, something she barely wears, and really help her experience the whole magic of upcycling. I'm very new to upcycling. I've played around with a sewing machine. I've taken some things in, but I've never fully transformed a piece before, so I'm really excited. Last week, I met up with Viv at a park and presented her with a few pieces that I was interested in getting upcycled. This first piece is a vintage Vanity Fair piece. As you can see, the pattern's pretty funky. Yeah. There's a lot of color going on, and I really, really love this piece. I just don't really wear it as is. This next piece here is just like a cropped orange piece. I really like this piece because it was sustainably made. And I think because this is such a like basic, like plain tee, I have a hard time styling it. Okay, Tony, tell me about this blazer because yeah. it is screaming to me. So this is just a Briggs New York blazer. I love the colors. I think they work together really well. It kind of frays a bit at the collar, which is super fun. So I will say with the Vanity Fair piece, I think there's a lot that can be done with it, especially because it's more of a breathable, light fabric. I also really love the blazer idea because I feel like that would just be a moment. I'm just excited to see what you decide to do because I know it'll be beautiful. I am not too sure which one Viv decided to upcycle. Honestly, it could be anything. I literally have no idea. The item I'm going to be upcycling is the Vanity Fair thrifted top. I'm going to make this into a two-piece. So this is what it looks like on me right now. Wait, Tony. Tony, you might not get this back. <laughs> what I'm going to do is crop it around here, so right at the small of the waist, and then give plenty of room for this to be kind of like a, a high-waisted skirt, but I also want it to be form-fitting and comfortable because Tony is a skater and I want her to be able to skate in this. Okay, so you have the gist of what I want to do, but let's make sure the materials I bought actually work to make that happen. <laughs> let's go through my shopping bag. One thing that I actually, I didn't buy this, but I always have it handy is E6000 glue. I feel like I'll be doing a little bit of sewing and a little bit of gluing. I got two types of elastic waistbands. I want to make sure that the skirt is very flexible and very stretchy. Besides just making this a two piece, I also wanted to make it like a fashion moment. So I got some pieces that I think will really spruce it up a bit, including these buttons. Hopefully, yep, they are too big. This is the thread I'm going with. It's very close to the main shades on here. It blends really well. So I feel like that's ideal whenever you're doing any sort of stitching. This is so cool, right? From afar, it kind of looks cool and blends in. Up close, I think it might be too much. <gasps> Maybe on the elastic waistband as like a belt. Oh my God, oh my God. So we have this trim. I don't think it's the best for fit for this. Like I see where I was going because this and these buttons, oh, I feel like this is so cute, so fun, but maybe it's not, it's not gonna work for this. I think it complements, but I don't think it's enough to be a moment. This one I think is gonna be the winner as far as things I'm adding. So we about to slap her in the face with a whole bunch of pink. We have a plan. We're just gonna pin so that I know where I'm gonna do all of my cuts. After I've cut it and made clean lines, that's when I'll add all the embellishments I have. This is what it's currently looking like. This is not attached. I think it might be a bit excessive now that I've made it into a two-piece. So this is gonna go. And I made the skirt kind of asymmetrical. I'm not sure 
if I like it asymmetrical with the trim. So we're gonna have to figure that out. This is what I have so far. I am really excited about all of the gold because I noticed on Tony's Instagram that she loves wearing gold. I decided to do a halter because this gray collar can easily function as like the halter top. So I'm gonna cut this side to match the other side. I feel like ow, 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 one of the pins pinned me. <laughs> so I'm gonna make this into a skirt. When the flap is here, it still has the cute dress vibes, but underneath are shorts, so she's fully flexible and able to do whatever she wants to do. I wanna give a disclaimer. I am a creative, I am not a technician. So that's always something that gets me when it comes to upcycling, because there's so many different ways to approach any sort of fashion project. And I, I'm kind of chaotic, so my way is always, it, it's a lot. So just brace yourselves, because I had to brace myself the entire time. Tony's a really cool laid back girl. She has a fun sense of fashion, and I feel like she's gonna really love this, and it's gonna really stand out in her closet. Is that Tony? Hey girl! Hey! Yes! Okay, I'm loving the outfit. Thank you, I'm loving yours. Thank you. I'm just hoping that you're gonna love the outfit I made for you. I am so excited. I know I'm gonna love it. We were at the park. You gave me your three options. Yeah. I did the Vanity Fair shirt. Ooh! Yeah, it was just, yeah, I just, I felt like it screamed Tony. You like things that are figure flattering and form fitting, but not too tight. Right. I like to be comfortable, but I also like to accentuate, but I like to feel like flowy a little bit. So kind of like a nice in between, comfortable and chic. Oh yes, yeah. definitely. I definitely get that vibe from you. And I also feel like you have a really playful style. And so that's part of what drew me to the Vanity Fair talk. I, I wanted you to be able to roller skate in this if possible. So I made sure that it was functional. Yeah. You know, you can be on your wheels and- I love that. I personally can't wait to see your reaction. I am <laughs> so excited. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. Okay, Tony. Yes. Open your eyes. Oh my gosh! This is everything. Wait, Viv, you've outdone yourself. By paying attention to your style, I noticed that you wear a lot of halter tops, especially when you're in your groovy quads, like when yes. you're roller skating. So I wanted to make it into a halter top. Yeah. And I paid attention to all of your gold jewelry, yeah. so that's why I did the, the gold pieces and then the gold fringe. When I first did the skirt, yeah. I was like, ooh, she's gonna be showing a lot of booty cheeks. So <laughs> let's rewind this real quick. And so I went to the thrift store, got some hot pink shorts. It's all one piece, but you're good to go as far as like having freedom of movement. Adding shorts to the skirt is such an important element, especially when I'm skating, because it makes me feel a lot more secure. So I love that you did that. Thank goodness I like you, because this is a lot of work. <laughs> I love the fact that you made this like wearable for me because this is definitely a lot more of an outfit than it was before. Um, I love it. So I've made it home and I've put on Viv's outfit and I'm so excited to show y'all what it looks like on me. You know I had to put on my skates to give it a true test. So cute. It made me really happy that Tony loved the outfit. I put so much time and effort and really tried to customize it to her. If there's something in your closet you're thinking about upcycling, you can tag me on Instagram at Vivaciously Viv and maybe I can help. Bye guys. Yeah.